One place I was so excited to take the van was Ericeira in Portugal. It's a world surfing reserve, the first one in Europe. So there's all types of beaches and waves for all abilities to learn or to compete. We were really lucky to stumble along this amazing festival and creative collective market hosted by You in the Sea and Sea Salt Collective. And there were so many amazing designers and craftspeople and food stalls. They even had two tattoo artists, one using traditional needles and the other one doing stick and poke tattoos and their designs were gorgeous. In Arasira, there's a group of women who make up the Ocean Sisters community. It's really nice that they have this collective and community where um, lots of women from all over Portugal and all over the world come and can do things they love together. For one of our nights in Arasira, we did stay in the town, but for the others, we parked up here, I think for two nights in a row. And it was an amazing spot. And this van that was next to us, it was like Remy's doppelganger. It was so similar, the same shade of blue, the same wooden interior. It was really funny. we travelled inland to this amazing woodland park with castles and grottos that my friend Kat, who was back in England, had heard about and sent me a video and said, you've got to go here. So we did, and it was spectacular. time to go back to the sea and I had heard about a secret beach that it took about half an hour to walk down to and the rock formations that I'd seen pictures of looked really really cool so that's where we headed next. evening we went to Soldo Pizza which was decorated in the way that I have dreamed that if I ever have a house that this is what my garden would look like. I'd love to have a house made entirely of old windows but it probably wouldn't stay very warm <laughs> and then would be a greenhouse in the summer but anyway. The next day, we had our first technical difficulties of the trip. So, um, all the power for our fridge and everything comes from the EcoFlow. 
Um, the eco photo broke the other day um, and we opened up the cable and there was a blown fuse in it so that's why the eco flow is not charging so um, we need to be able to charge it from the car whilst we drive um, otherwise we have to rely on going into cafes and stuff and um, plugging it into the wall all the time so we found a kind of Halfords equivalent um, we've got a range of fuses but we know that we want the 15 amp ones we have two of those so going to see if that fixes the problem this is the cigarette lighter end and this is the end that goes into the eco flow um, and this end needs it has a spring already inside this is the 15 amp fuse the new one put that one in there then there's this little pip and a knurled nut which goes on put that in and the plastic thread on the inside of this is really not in good condition um, so I just have to be quite careful but that is all screwed in there and we'll test it out see if it works um, we've got a couple of places that we can test it and a couple of different methods of charging so we'll try them all out this is a cigarette port that my dad um, added by the handbrake and when something's plugged into this it will only charge when the car battery is running which means um, when the engine is running sorry which means that we can't run the car battery down by accident um, and have to jump start it so this is where it normally gets plugged in this is um, EcoFlow which normally lives under the passenger seat um, so if I plug this end into here turn it on and now I'm gonna start the engine and then we just have to wait and see if it if it works and not only if it works but if it also doesn't blow the fuse again so we have plugged the fridge in in order to drain a bit of the battery because it's at 100% at the moment so we're not going to be able to tell very well if it's charging if it's already on 100 so we're going to bring it down to 99 and then plug it in again and do our test and see if it works when i tested the battery it still didn't charge so i knew i still had a problem with the cable and i phoned up dad and we had a discussion about what it could be and it turned out that the um the plastic had been damaged in such a way that it was stopping the metal work from all touching each, each other as it should do so I needed to cut away some of the plastic in order that everything could fit in and be screwed in tightly. The fact that it wasn't tight and it had space to move was what had caused the fuse to blow because it was getting very hot in there and the electricity wasn't flowing as it should. I brought a toolbox with me on the trip so I had pliers and things like that and then I just used one of our kitchen knives for carving away the plastic. In the meantime, I got in contact with the company that I bought the EcoFlow from and with EcoFlow directly, and they agreed that they would send a replacement cable. And so we had to give them an address, which obviously we don't have. So we had to think, well, it will probably take about five days to get out to Europe. So where will we be in five days? And we thought that Lagos was um, a good place to get it sent. So. That's where we asked it to go, to a DPD depot there. And in the meantime, we had to hope that this cable held out. There was a corgi. There was a corgi. That afternoon, we drove much further south and kept driving into the night. So we arrived at our overnight spot in the dark. And in the morning, we woke up to really, really gorgeous golden hour light and it was amazing to see where we'd ended up. <laughs>